Hello everybody and welcome, never mind the pandemic hair and beard, I haven't been to the barber for months. Uh, today we're taking a little bit of a different look at things. Instead of launching humongous contraptions and watching them go through rapid unplanned disassembly, we're going to take a step back and think about what our favorite game teaches us. And by favorite game, I mean the mobile sensation, right? I'm kidding, it's Kerbal Space Program, of course. It's no surprise KSP is being used in schools all around the world to teach physics and engineering. But there are some deeper lessons we can learn from blasting little green people into space. So, here we go, five life skills that KSP can teach you. Orbital Mechanics Why is this a life skill? Well, it's never wrong to have a better understanding of how our universe works. But on the other hand, if you're a bit of a space nerd and working in the industry is part of your life goals, there is probably no better way to get a foot in the door than saying, oh, by the way, I love playing Kerbal Space Program during your job interview. Don't believe me? NASA has partnered with KSP developers to feature its asteroid redirect mission. Also, both CEOs of SpaceX and ULA, Elon Musk and Tori Bruno respectively, have publicly declared their love for Kerbal Space Program. It might even be that Tori is designing his next rocket after the upcoming Vulcan right there in KSP. Who knows? Attaching a cool craft file to your resume may help your chances for getting that job. There's a downside though. You'll never be able to watch sci-fi movies the same way you did before playing KSP. Rockets flying straight up and suddenly being in orbit, docking maneuvers that take a fraction of the time needed to do them in real time, engines being lit all the time instead of only when performing maneuvers. <laughs> well, at least all of us Kerbal Space Program players have that in common. You're not the only one cursed with knowledge. Reduce to the max. Anything you want to put into space will require a huge booster strapped to it. We commonly call this the payload and the bigger it gets, the exponentially bigger the booster needed to launch it gets. The more you reduce complexity, the lighter you make your payload, the easier it becomes to launch it into orbit. KSP helps you develop the important skill of getting to the heart of the problem. What is it you actually need to perform your mission? How much fat can you trim in order to realize your goals? The funny thing is that uh, this overlaps with my real job. I work in software development for the time and we try to follow the 12 principles of the Agile Manifesto. One of them says simplicity, the art of maximizing the amount of work not done is essential. To put it in even simpler words, reduce to the max. Don't waste time on stuff that is not essential. This can apply to any type of work, not just building spaceships or software, but it does not mean that you should cut corners. On the contrary, because if you do, it will eventually blow up in your face. In the case of KSP, literally. And then you have to do even more work, cleaning up that mess and starting all over again. Perseverance. It's not just the name of the Mars 2020 rover NASA plans to launch this July, it's also a trait that will help you get past adversity in real life. It should be obvious how Kerbal Space Programs helps you with this. If you have played the game even a little, you will have blown up your spacecraft quite a few times. Or rather, a lot of times. But did you give up? Well, some of you might have, but I guess most of you will have loaded the last quicksave or reverted to launch and tried it. Again. Especially if you know what caused the problem. Wrong ascent path, maneuver executed badly, <laughs> wings put on backwards. Even though KSP is a very difficult game, it is never unfair. You always know that there should be a way to achieve your mission. Sometimes it is as easy as adjusting your angle during ascent, other times it is adding struts to make your vehicle more stable, and then there are the times when you have to perform a complete redesign. 
like I had to do when I tried to build my Ozymandias back a few years ago where I had uh, eight iterations until I found the one that actually worked. But still, your perseverance will pay off. Which leads me to my next point. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. <laughs> oh, the joy when a mission goes the way you imagined. Or even if it doesn't and you find a way to fix it in flight. For me, there has never been a more satisfying gaming experience than when you are finally able to get that ludicrous spaceship to its intended destination. One of my fondest memories in KSP is still one of my earliest, when I built some sort of battlecruiser style ship and after countless failed attempts finally managed to put it in orbit and just for the heck of it tried to fly to Jewel and the joy when I got that encounter… <sighs> good times. But why do I regard this as a life skill? Well, there is this old trope of hard work paying off, but it is indeed important to know that if you do things properly and persevere, there will be a payoff in the end. At least with Kerbal Space Program. Life, unfortunately, isn't always that fair, but if you have experienced this feeling I mentioned, you know what it should feel like when you enjoy the fruits of your labor. And in my opinion, that's a good way to gauge whether or not what you are currently doing with your life is worth the effort. Because if you're working full-time and never experience that kind of satisfaction regarding to work even a little bit, it is time to change something. Learning from your own mistakes. I just mentioned that there are points in life where you realize you have to switch things up. And this is, in my opinion, the most important skill of them all. Kerbal Space Program may be a fair game, but it is unforgiving. If you mess up, it lets you know. Emphatically. Which makes learning from mistakes a very important part of the experience. If something worked before and does no longer, what did you change? What did you do differently? Reflecting on your own actions enables you to learn from them and grow in the process. This applies to anything in life. If you're not able to utilize self-reflection, you will always blame others. The developers, the Kraken, YouTubers for giving you wrong advice. You can blame them all right, but only after you've made sure that the fault does not lie with yourself. My mother used to say when I was younger, a smart person learns from the mistakes of others. A not so smart person learns from their own mistakes. A stupid person never learns. I'm not sure if she came up with that herself or cited somebody else, but whatever it may be, we should always strive to learn, especially from our own mistakes. Well, there you have it. Those were my five life lessons you can learn by playing Kerbal Space Program. Not sure if Elon Musk had the same revelation, but look at SpaceX and their development. Their video how not to land an orbital rocket booster is legendary already and it proves one thing. If you know about orbital mechanics, if you focus on the important bits, if you persevere and learn from your own mistakes, you will be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. What are the things that KSP taught you personally? Let me know in the comments or drop by on my Discord server. Or let's have a chat about that. Links in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.